of Mines and Steel Development, Olamileko Adigite, says Nigerian government is set to develop a vibrant industry that will attract investors. The minister was speaking at a meeting in Lagos put together by his ministry to outline plans for the development of the sector for the year 2020. According to data from the World Steel Association 2017, out of the global production of 1,689 million tons and Africa's production of 15 million tons, Nigeria is yet to play big in this billion-dollar market. Research shows that Nigeria, a country of more than 200 million people, is endowed with more than 3 billion metric tons of iron ore, amongst other steel-making raw materials. This 2019, uh, we'll have the final figure very soon, but it's definitely over 5 billion. So there's been gradual improvement. Uh, as government return attention, there's been gradual improvement uh, on that. Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Ola Mileko Adegbite, says government is focused on making the sector more viable and attractive to international and local investors. We are looking at a two to and a half year gap for Nigerians to begin to produce steel. And this is a game changer for Nigeria. It will save us a lot in foreign exchange. We spend billions of dollars now, as it were, importing reinforcements into Nigeria. That's just still in the, uh, in the industry for building. But then we could begin to make other things. That's where our industrialization will start from. We could begin to get, make panels for cars, engine block for cars. It will create employment downstream. The minister further highlights the potential of the upstream and downstream of the Nigerian steel sector. He adds that activities of the ministry will be simplified to support government's ease of doing business initiative. We've got plenty of bitumen between Ondo and uh, Ogun State. And we use a lot of bitumen in the country as well. You know, we are constantly building roads, repairing our roads and all that. Bitumen is the major ingredient in making your asphalt. So we're trying to develop that, uh, bring investors. But just like other sectors, other minerals have said, we need to de-risk it. So we are doing further exploration on bitumen. You need to establish certain data so that investors become more comfortable. The minister hinted that the Agile Kuta Steel Company in Kogi State will soon become functional. This follows the agreement reached with Russian partners to support its reactivation and onward production.